Hello, we are at Yankee Town Women's Thrift. I have my friend Lilia with me and we are gonna go see if we can find anything to flip for profit. All right, this little thrift store is about 45 minutes from my house and they always have these clothes out on the patio before you go in. Most of the clothes are a dollar, but they actually came up and told us that starting the day we were there, everything was 75% off. That means all of these clothes you're seeing right here are only a quarter, which is pretty cool. And definitely stay tuned because I'm actually gonna take you to four thrift stores with us in this video. Now, this was a pair of, I believe they were Hollister, and for a quarter, they might only sell for 20, 25 bucks, but at only 25 cents, that's a great profit. And then there are some Talbot pants here as well. Those have done well for me. They're only about 10 to $12, but when you only got a quarter in, that's a good buy price. And Lily just handed me this really nice button up. She also found a Talbot's firework shirt with 4th of July. Lily's just coming up with all of the stuff this time. She was throwing some great stuff with me. Now, this was an Izod. I did put that one back, but then I saw this Columbia. And this one is a vintage fishing shirt. Normally they sell for around 15. So that was a great pickup as well. And then this is a TPA golf polo. Those go for about 12 to 15 as well. And again, I'm okay with these at a dollar, but at a quarter, I'm very happy. And look at this Mickey Walt Disney World tank top. And then I saw this Pat Rogers Harley Davidson. This was only a quarter amazing amazing deals we just happen to come the right day now we are walking into the shed as they call it and again everything in the whole shed is 75 percent off so this set here is actually capa di monte and they had it at 30 dollars and so it was actually under 10 dollars for the whole set it's really cool they have like onions on top or, or garlic maybe that's garlic so i did get those down and then the asparagus cookie jar too and lily was amazing helping me very very big help to me so again lily thank you so much for helping me so we are bringing stuff inside and making a pile because they don't have any carts <laughs> so we're having to navigate they're like, oh, get more stuff. They're telling us, just get as much as you want. So we went back in. This little plate was Rosenthal, but there was only the one. So I did decide to leave that there. I am trying to be a little bit picky because I do have a ton of inventory. Now, these bottles are carnival glass and that one is an Abraham Lincoln. It was marked $8, but with the discount, it will only be $2. And then there's also this cobalt blue one in the back. So I did pick both of those up. Those are just really cool. And for only a couple of bucks, I thought I would take a shot with them. Now, this one was just marked oven proof. I wasn't sure what company made that. So I did decide to pass that one up. But I found some sand art and it was only I think four dollars so I paid a dollar for that with the discount which is a great price and I saw this tray down on the bottom here that Lily is getting this is a really cool strawberry tray and it says made in Japan I believe that was marked five dollars so it was about a dollar and a quarter but really really cool tray and then this is a Bahamas flag and it was brand new it was marked two so that was only 50 cents and then this one here is bowery savings bank and i think this one will sell for about 30 dollars there are some sold comps on ebay i believe it was marked at five so it was only a dollar and a quarter for that one and there's just a ton of stuff in the shed. I love this letter holder. I have not yet looked this one up, but it was just really cool. It was not real wood. It was just made to look like wood. 
And then here, these really stood out. The print on these is Acapulco and just really, really bright and colorful. I think it was originally $12, but with the discount, it was down to four and it had the serving plate and then two smaller plates. So I think with the discount, that was a great deal. If they hadn't been discounted, I probably would not have gotten them. And those owls I liked, but they just felt cheap to me and this little piggy bank i loved but a lot of the fur was missing so i did decide to leave that there and then the trinket box i could not read the name on again i'm trying to have some discretion here because i do have so much inventory but it's very very hard when you walk in somewhere and it's 75 percent off now this one was an England pot. I did end up passing on these. These two might have been a mistake and you'll see Lily actually picks these up here in a few minutes as well, but they would be bigger, harder to ship and I did decide to leave them. Now I love the look of this picture, but the discoloration and crazing was very, very bad on the top of that one. So I decided to leave it, but this little mug with the birdies I decided to get. That one was really cute and I really do love these plates. They were marked at four each so they would have been a dollar. They are province and it looks like four sell for about $20 so I am glad I left them because that's a little bit less profit than I would like for having to ship plates. And this one says California Pottery with a stamp but it also had a Made in China sticker. Now these I am not sure what they are but they're really really cool and they were marked five each so they were down to $1.25 and I did pick those up. Lily and I both saw these really cool bird plates at the same time. They were marked 10 so they were down to $2.50 and I did decide to get them just because the print is absolutely amazing with like the cherry blossoms and I love birds so I had to get those. And this was some Haviland, but the pattern just didn't really pop to me. So I did decide to leave that. Now, these are Mix and Max by Maxwell Williams. They were $3 each and there were a lot listed and none sold. Now, this piece was really cool. I decided not to get it, but Lily did pick it up. I don't know if she's figured out what it is, but it was really cool. And now we are inside the main store and I saw this cute little bumblebee dog costume. It was four, so marked down to one. So I did pick that up. And here's another bumblebee colored dog coat. So I picked that up as well. If you do not know, dog clothes can sell very, very well. Now, I am looking through the clothes and found this a vintage Jeff Gordon sweatshirt. It was four, so it'll be a dollar. There's the tag, it was nutmeg. I think it'll go for about 20 to 30, which is not bad from a dollar. And then here's another one. So this is something that does typically happen. If you find one of something, chances are somebody donated a lot and you very possibly could find more. So here is the third vintage Jeff Gordon sweatshirt. This one was marked down to $2. So again, probably about $20 to $30, not a ton, but still a decent pickup. Now, this shirt was just a funny shirt. It said, my, my kid caught a bass while your kid was in school. I thought my husband might appreciate it. I haven't shown it to him yet, but I think he will really like it. Speaking of which, Dalton went fishing with daddy yesterday. Now, here is their linen section and they do have a lot as far as the linens this little vintage pillow is super cute it was three dollars so it actually came down under a dollar and then there was a vintage needle point as well now we are looking at the shoes on top this is a pair of chacos these sell for 30 to 50 dollars they were five which means they were only a dollar 25 with the discount which was a great great price on those now I saw these ones with the butterfly but the sole was kind of worn so I did leave those there tell me if I should have got these these are like super retro like stonewash jeans I left them I left them but they definitely looked really really retro 
Now, what I'm typically looking for, like when they're dead cheap, I'll get like Hollister, Levi's, things like that. Now, up top here is some Bastad clogs. These are size 41. And these actually sell for about $40. So that was a really great pickup at only a couple of dollars. And then I saw this glass bowl. And yes, I am all over the place. I just go everywhere when I'm at these stores. That looked like it was newer. So that's why I decided to leave it there. But I saw this really cute bag. Marked at $2.50, so again, under a dollar, which is a great price. Probably will only sell for about $10 to $15. And then I also saw these Callaway women's golf shorts. Again, probably $15 to $20, bucks, but for a dollar, definite great pickup there. There's Lily. Lily's looking at stuff. Lily's trying to find stuff. I found some shoes. I don't remember what brand those were, but they looked almost brand new, so... I think they will do good. And then, look, a Moo Moo. I don't know this brand very well, but for under a dollar, I'm going to pick up this colorful striped Moo Moo because why not? All right, this is the end of this store, but we're going to another one. This one is in Homosassa. All right. They had some foot joys, but they were $20, so I quickly put them back. Now, I believe this one was $2.75. Really, really pretty pottery. Probably a sushi bowl. Really, really nice. I like the flat design on it. And then here, check out this Native American silhouette with the little bonfire. That one was $4.75. If you know me, I love Native American stuff. So I was really happy to find that one. And I was hoping I would find some more, but unfortunately that was the only one. Now, I don't know, I should have got this blanket for me. I wanted this for me, not for resale. It might've been good for resale too. It looks like they would sell for like 40 to $80. I think it was like 15 or $20. I don't know. I probably should have got it for me. I really like it. <laughs> and then I saw this vintage blanket as well and up top was this really cool little Christmas tree pillow I think their pillows are like two dollars there this one should sell for about 15 to 20 I always look at the throw blankets too this is actually a like heart plug like I love pugs their blankets have increased to nine dollars but I still think this was a good pickup I think I can get 40 to 50 for this one and then I also saw another, <laughs> that was Lily's face that they're increasing price, but I still think it's okay. I still think I'll do okay. And then there was another one with like a giant pug face with flowers. And when you get specialized dog breed types like that, I think they bring a little bit more money than regular throws. Now, this is their art section. Down here on the bottom, I believe this is an etching but unfortunately they had it at almost $9 and I just didn't want to pay that much. I probably would have paid up to like four or $5 for it comfortably, but I didn't want to pay nine. And now we're going to walk over to the dishware to see if we see anything. I did see this pressure cooker down here. The big thing is that they have the little knobs on top and this one did, but unfortunately they had it marked at $20 and that was a little more than I wanted to pay. But look at this Sears vintage robe. I guess I can call it a men's dressing gown. I think that's something I learned from my video. So I did pick that one up. All of their clothes here, if they are not boutique, are only a dollar. So that was a great pickup on the robe. They actually had quite a few kind of pajama sets here, but I didn't end up finding any other ones. And we really didn't get too much at this store. So let's go to another. I didn't find much at the now i cannot remember the name of it key thrift we did not find much at key thrift so now we're at sanctuary but we only have 30 minutes so we're going to see what we can find here this one as soon as we walked in i saw this go blue michigan purse it was five but i believe it'll sell for between 30 and 40 so i think that was a good pickup and then I saw this black lab throw. It was $6. And again, the specialized dog ones I think will do really well. 
And I'm glad I turned around to hand it to Lily. Otherwise, I would have missed this really cool Bears on the Train. This was painted and absolutely beautiful for only $4. I think that'll probably go for about $40, maybe $50 on that. And then I saw this really pretty floral throw. And this one was by Vicki Howard. I looked it up and they weren't selling great. So I did decide to leave that one. And these were some heavy brass vases i believe those are choken art they were eight dollars i wasn't sure if it was individual or for the pair so i did decide to put those back but those were really really pretty and then back in the appliances i saw this space saver it was a can opener and i grabbed that and then this a blanket is a beater lack beater lack is a really really good brand so i picked it up I have not been to a Goodwill in a very, very long time since I was actually in Pennsylvania. And they're the only ones open past five. So Lily and I are going into Goodwill to see if we can find some good stuff. We are in Crystal River. So there's pretty much no signal in there. I picked up this tailor-made burner. It was $5. It looks like it should sell for about $30. I was hoping for something more. And the other tailor-made burners like this will sell for $100 to $200. And then this Franciscan Desert Rose. This is five pieces for $20. And the reason I'm looking at it is because they're all serving pieces. So you can see I looked it up here. One is listed for $50. And I'm going to the sold because I want to see how much they are selling for. And it looks like $30 seems to be about the average. But that's just for one piece. And I'm getting all five pieces for $20. And you can see three serving pieces sold for $75 on auction. So... $50 for one. There were a lot of higher sold, so I definitely think I will do well with this lot. So don't discount if it is $20 for a set because it could very well be worth it. So Lily and I are going to put this into the buggy at the Goodwill. We definitely, I think, did really, really good with that one. And this Goodwill... We only had about 30 minutes. So we started late in the day and we closed down most of the thrift stores that we went to. Now here are the jackets and this jacket was out exactly like you see it when I walked by it. It is vintage. It was $4. So I decided I would go ahead and look it up. It is McGregor and I just put in McGregor Vintage windbreaker because i believe that is what that is and you can see here it looks like they sell for about 30 25 around that range so for five dollars i was okay with that and they were selling pretty decent there are a couple lower but i think i should be able to get at least 20 dollars for it because there were some that were selling higher as well and then we headed over to the shoes i saw this pair of merrill's and they definitely stood out. They are in excellent condition. Unfortunately, they were 20 bucks. And I'm really, really hesitant about paying $20 for shoes. Now, these probably will sell, I would say, around 40 And what I'm doing is trying to look up the actual number of them. Because if I saw they sold for 50 to 60 and had a good sell-through rate, I probably still would have picked them up. However, the signal did not want to cooperate with me. It just kept spinning and then there were none. So it was kind of hard to look them up and we only had 30 minutes so I decided to move on. And then Lily found these crock wedges. So if you don't know, crock wedges do actually sell around the 15 to 20 dollar mark and they had 10 dollars on those so they weren't worth picking up but if you were to find those crocs at a garage sale or a little bit cheaper at a thrift store that would be a good pickup now they had some beautiful beautiful bedding sets here i believe they were actually all martha stewart bedding as you see here on the tag and i am going to try and look them up because if they would sell for like $75 to $100, I would be okay paying $20. But it looked like they only sold for about $60. And then Lily found this double-sided comforter over here. This one was Nina Home. 
and I had not heard of that name so I did decide to look that one up as well and it looks like they only were selling for about $50 so I decided to leave that one there as well now here we are looking at the pillowcases and I love looking through linens and from what I have experienced linens are either hit or miss I feel like that's probably because somebody donates a large lot of vintage linen so you'll either find a ton or you'll find none now this print really stood out to me kind of like a cottage core print unfortunately i couldn't find a name brand so this is the end of my recording but let's take a little bit of look at the haul all right so there's a lot i actually did not show and these hats are some of it i got this mile zero key west la fd alaska and this florida gator shirt from the thrift store with everything 75 percent off this is from goodwill i bought a big tote of yarn for twenty dollars and just three of these skeins will pay for all of it there's actually this is all from thrifting so there's a lot you did not see that i did get this 3d afghan was one of the items and I believe this one was marked at 10 so it was only $2.50 because it was 75% off. And then I got these Dolly Parton Stampede glasses. There's probably more than I can actually show you. Um, I got a ton of this Karen International, a bunch of like latch up kits. And then these are some moccasins. Look at this vintage latch hook kit, brand new in the box. It was four, so that was a dollar twenty-five. And then I got some more cross stitch fabric. Again, this one is actually um, a dupli band, and this one was only a quarter. These are all from the seventy-five percent off store. And then look at all of these ribbon trims for cross stitch. I thought those were cool. I will probably lot those up together. These you saw. And then the Chacos you also saw. Let's see what else you might not have seen. That's the sand art there. There's just so, so much. Oh, we didn't show these. So... Well, this was a gift from Miss Judith. So, Miss Judith, thank you. I just opened her present to me from camp. So, <laughs> Miss Judith got me some cool stuff. It's kind of mixed in here. So, these are flower fairies. These are actually um, drawer liners, scented sheets with fairies on them. They are Lily of the Valley. I might, I might actually keep these. Um, these were two dollars for the whole box. And then, look, another Irish latch hook kit, brand new. There is the cool strawberry tray. Plastic canvas kit. This one, again, less than a dollar with the 75% off. Saying Christmas with Santa Claus. And then the Michigan purse. I got this little Tivana set for four. This one, and I haven't looked it up, but this, my friends, is Scentsy. So I'm not sure if I will keep this. I might keep it because I actually, at one of the other thrift stores, I think it was at Goodwill, I got some Yankee candles. And here, I believe these will do good. This is lavender moisturizing soaps. I found Dalton some cute little camo shorts. And then, Always look for stuff you need at the thrift store. This is a twin set for my spare bedroom, which is perfect. I didn't get any footage of this, but this whole box was free. So, outside of the first thrift store, let me see if I can turn on some light here. Ah, I'm right by my photo booth here. I'm actually in my photo booth. So, this was at the first shop. I got this for me it says it's just the thought so it's got like positive thoughts people are your only appreciable asset 
Nothing is as hard as it looks. Everything is more rewarding than you can expect. And if anything can go right, it will. Maxwell's Law. So I got that for me out of the free box. Dalton loves owls, so I got him that. And then this little container is Tupperware. I think that might do okay. And again, this was free, you know. So when it's free, I probably take more than I should. These are Pimpernel, some coasters that were free. These are actually, check this out. These are Pampered Chef. And there are a few of those. There was this really cool amber tea light holder. And I know they have prices, but the thrift store actually threw them out. Here's a Tupperware juicer. Look at this little painting. And it is kind of worn off. But look, it's really cool on the back. Um, it says it's vitreous enameling, handmade in London. And that is the actual thing in the middle. So I think that might still do good. I could always use a calculator, right? Um, let's see. Now, this is a vintage skip bow card game. This could be worth some money. It looks like it's complete. And again, free. These little apple dishes are really cool. There is a set of six of them. These bowls I got, let's see if I can get it. So look here. These little bowls all say made in France. How about that? So there is a set of them. There is this new Lane Bryant set of hose. So yeah, all of this was free. Plus I thrifted all of this. I didn't, I don't, I spent a hundred at the first one because I did get a lot of really nice shoes there and I just got a ton. So now we have got a bunch more inventory and there is my lazy pig to close out the video. Wednesday I will show you guys what sold. We didn't do what sold today because it is a holiday. So I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday and your day off of shipping. We will see you tomorrow with a live show with Carrie from American Arbitrage and Mike Golden State Picker along with Julian and that will be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and then I will do a what sold video on Wednesday and Friday I think we'll do another research video thanks for watching guys pig can you say bye kitty pig <laughs>